Welcome to HVAC for Life channel. In this video we are going to see about variable refrigerant flow system. Variable refrigerant flow systems are known for their energy efficiency due to their ability to modulate refrigerant flow and match the heating or cooling load of a building accurately. Let's see about how it works. VRS systems use a refrigerant as a cooling and heating medium, circulating it between an outdoor unit and multiple indoor units. The outdoor unit can vary the refrigerant flow rate to each indoor unit based on the heating or cooling needs of that specific area. This chart compares the energy efficiency of a conventional AC system and a VRF system. Variable capacity control the VRF system adjusts the capacity of the outdoor unit based on the load requirements, allowing for precise control and minimizing energy wastage during partial load conditions. Simultaneous heating and cooling VRF systems can simultaneously provide heating to one zone while cooling another, improving overall system efficiency. Applications of VRF Commercial buildings VRF systems are commonly used in office buildings, hotels, hospitals, and retail spaces due to their flexibility, energy efficiency, and individual zone control. Residential Buildings VRF technology is increasingly being used in residential applications to provide energy-efficient heating and cooling for individual rooms or zones. Comparison of Conventional AC and VRF System Conventional AC system with constant speed compressors may operate at maximum capacity even when the heating or cooling load is low, resulting in energy wastage during off-peak hours. A VRF system, on the other hand, adjusts the compressor speed and refrigerant flow based on the heating or cooling demand in each zone. During off-peak hours or in areas with low occupancy, the VRF system can operate at a lower capacity, saving energy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe HVAC for Life channel for more HVAC related topics.